Okay, I like to do a, a video review, but of the uh, Zhiyun Crane, I actually bought this uh, for my Fuji. Now it's not meant for large DSLRs. It does come with this nice crank. Yes, I, I bought this. No, I'm not getting any free gear from anybody. Um, it also works with my Rode uh, micro uh, microphone. Uh, it only limits me about 20% uh, using this on top of the Zhiyun Crane. Obviously, you would not want a wired system hanging off of a, a three-axis uh, gyro uh, gimbal stabilizer like this. Um, tilt, yaw, uh, tilt, roll, and yaw. I'm going to teach you very quickly how to uh, stabilize this unit. You could use this like with a point-and-shoot camera or a uh, Fuji or anything that's not like a large uh, DSLR. Um, I love the fact that uh, someone else actually saw it was using the Rode Micro. I got tons of microphones, but I wanted something that's really good, and I did a video review on this while I was on vacation. I bought it. I was kind of skeptical of it. But the actual audio on this is actually rather remarkable, and it's only $69. And it's made in Australia, damn it. It's, it's not uh, cheap junk. It's metal and made in Australia. Oi to the Australians! Um, Zhiyun Crane. Um, I love this unit. I'm not just saying that. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass uh, at all. If I already used the longer lens, I actually stabilize this unit. However, stabilizing the unit takes about five minutes of adjustment now that I've stabilized uh, three different lenses. Obviously, anytime you slap on a different lens, you're going to uh, change the center of gravity. I need three hands to be be able to be doing this and holding the crane at the same time. I just wanted to get something out here to show you and then put this case off to the side. Is that like using the 16 to 55, which is a rather large lens, is a fixed uh, 2.8 lens. There is a front of this on uh, the tilt axis with a screw set and it actually comes with a cradle like a little cradle that goes up underneath the lens so you can adjust up or down. All these screws are metal there's uh, three easy adjustments for the tilt axis, uh, the roll axis, and the yaw. There are actually, I taped up two different things down here. One of them is a future feature that has a switch that will let you control uh, your camera, but that's not uh, fully, um, uh, does not exist yet. There's basically a joystick uh, for uh, tilt and yaw. Then there's an on off button. There's another port over here that I taped up, which is for firmware upgrade. I just didn't want the sweat of my hand to get in there, so I taped up two different things. A switch that has features that don't yet exist, and an upgrade port. So ultimately, all I have here is an on-off switch and a joystick button. The joystick button is not obviously not only a joystick, but you're able to press it in to uh, switch modes. Now, here's the uh, quick, easy way um, on how to actually adjust this. You work uh, from uh, your tilt to your roll, to your yaw. You have to work uh, in that way. Obviously, there's a metal set screw that comes with this. Oh, by the way, I'm very familiar having fixed countless things in my life, including laptops and cameras and lenses. The CNC machining on this, the Zhiyun Crane, is a 10 out of 10. I don't say that lightly. It is excellent. There actually comes with uh, two sets of batteries. They're unusual batteries. I can't remember the exact... Uh, um, size of the batteries. Let me actually first uh, show you that and then I'll show you actually how to uh, set uh, the proper stabilization. Obviously this is a, a stabilizer. You first actually have to adjust it correctly on here so that the stabilizer is not working against the camera being offset too far out of the center of gravity uh, against the tilt the roll and the yaw. These are the two batteries that uh, fit inside. This is all metal by the way it comes with two sets of these batteries. You just slip them in here and it comes with a charger. This is all, there's, there's crude CNC machining and there's good CNC machining. This is good. Crude CNC machining like right along the lip here. There would be burrs that would cut into your hand. This is not that way at all. Also, there's a tripod socket on the base here. So you can actually adjust this and this is actually how I started out. I read the directions over and over again and since they're uh, translated from the uh, Chinese into English, you know, they're, they're slightly imperfect, but the product is perfect. Um, I found out a quick way, so to say, and I'm going to show you this very quickly now, on how to stabilize your camera. Um, by the way, one set of batteries will basically last you all damn day long. So since it comes with two sets of batteries, you ain't got no problem. 
Um, the little charger it comes with comes with a cable, and that cable plugs into the back of an iPhone charger, which you can use to actually charge the battery. It's a little cubicle uh, iPhone charger. Okay. Um, not going to turn this on right now, obviously. You want to uh, actually center the camera first. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to work off of um, the tilt axis, and then the roll, and then the yaw. So right now I actually have the roll axis held by my hand. And what you want to do is you want to center this camera, depending on the lens and depending on the geometry of the camera and where the center of gravity uh, sits, you want to adjust this such that the roll, and this is the roll uh, gimbal right here, such that you'll notice if I actually show you here, uh, such that it only takes a little bit of pressure one way or the other. You want to equalize the pressure out such that the center of gravity is allowing the roll gimbal to work with the least amount of resistance as possible. So the amount of pressure that I apply to roll it forward this way is the same amount of pressure that I apply to roll it front to back. So in other words, it's sitting perfectly centered like that. And now once you have that centered, you keep all your uh, nuts loose on your camera to adjust slightly loose, not loose, but slightly loose. This is the nut for adjusting the CNC machined uh, aluminum, all, all metal by the way, no plastic here, adjusting the arm out for the roll axis right here. So first I'm going to adjust my camera and lens. And then there's actually a screw set up here that'll allow me to hold the lens up, give it a little bit extra support so that there's no sagging or creaking between the lens and the lens mount, which is this set screw and cradle right here, which I don't need with this tiny lens. I adjust the camera front to back, then I actually adjust the set screw here to bring uh, the roll arm in or out. But right now, this is perfectly stabilized, as you can see. So now, once I've gone to that, I'm going to hold uh, the yaw axis and work on stabilizing the roll axis. And obviously, there's another uh, set screw here. And by these set screws are all uh, CNC machined. And they are all lubricated straight out of box, which is really good. And this is all CNC machined infrastructure aluminum along uh, this gimbal. By the way, this is also the fastest responsive gimbal out there that exists currently. And considering the fact that it is like $600, depending on where you buy it from, it's also the cheapest place. Um, the reason I bought this is I consulted with a few people, and I even called one person that I know that has one of these gimbals, and he said it's the absolute tits, and that he absolutely enjoys using it. I've obviously said countless times over that I'm not a videographer. However, I can use this for a lot of different stuff. Uh, including uh, taking low angle pictures using my iPhone application which interfaces perfectly with the Fuji. I can stick it down in the leaves. I could focus by hitting my iPhone. I, you know, I'm, My fat butt does not want to get on my hands and knees to take like a bug shot at three inches off the ground. I can do that with this camera and even in low light since it's on a gimbal I ain't really worried about camera shake. Now, I did make a mistake in my earlier videos when I actually demonstrated this to people. What I had was a monopod on the end of this, and a gimbal, gimbal expert told me that's the reason why there was a little bit of bounce as I was walking along a downtown Fort Myers, so I removed that. I uh, improved, uh, perfected, I should say. I've now perfected my, uh, my centering techniques as far as balancing the camera. Well, this is a stabilizer. You're like, why do you have to balance it? Well, you have to get it along its proper uh, three points of gravity along the tilt, uh, the roll, and the yaw. So you do need to balance the camera. You'll actually also notice that if you don't have the camera balanced, if you have it balanced, all these uh, motors will be cool after you know a, a great deal of use. But if you don't have them perfectly balanced, you will know immediately which one is not properly balanced to tilt the roll or the yaw because that one will be warm or slightly hot. But if you have it balanced, after like say 10 minutes of use, if they're all cool, you put your hands here, here, and here, and they're cool, it's like, hey, I've got it balanced. <laughs> so, now you can see along the roll axis that just applying a little bit of pressure either way, it is perfectly balanced. So it requires the exact same amount of pressure to rotate it this way clockwise as it does to rotate it counterclockwise. Okay, so now that I've actually centered the camera along the tilt and centered it along the, the, uh, the roll, I am now going to work to my last gimbal for balancing. And that's my yaw. Remember, I have three 
silver looking uh, anodized the aluminum set screws here. My tilt, my roll, my yaw. So my last one is my yaw, which I already have this centered. I don't want to sit here and try to adjust it again once I've already got it adjusted. This is a perfect camera and lens that I actually want to use for this. It's a 23 millimeter f2 on my Fujifilm X-T2. It requires the exact same amount of pressure to rotate it one way as it does the other. Okay? Simple. Um, that was a lot simpler than the user instruction manual that came with those, which is not complicated. It's just that my way of explaining things, I think, is a lot simpler. And this is the simplest way to explain it. You know, you just, you rotate it until it takes as much pressure to, uh, we need to, I need to hold it along the roll axis here. If I'm going to adjust the tilt first, as much pressure as to rotate it this way as it does to rotate it this way. And you keep working your way back from tilt to roll to yaw. Okay? I think I've explained that fully. This works beautifully well, by the way. Um, when you turn it on, what I like to do is, there we go, looking at three dimensions, is have it set such that, now the roll axis is uh, has the Chinese characters of uh, Zhi Yun Tech along the back, is have it facing the back of the camera so that when I turn it on, that that's the easiest way, otherwise you actually have to rotate it back into this alignment. So just start out with this alignment to begin with. Hold down my power button for three seconds. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I call this calibration. The instruction manual calls it something else. And I'm going to put my hand underneath the camera. Is that I'm actually going to hold in the joystick button for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to hold it in again for one second. Okay. That's what I, the, the manual calls that something different. I just call it calibration. So I held the power button in for three seconds. I held the joystick button in for three seconds, which is almost like turning it off, but not. I call that calibration. They call it the standby mode. Then you press the joystick button again. The default mode, there's three different modes for tracking on this. Um, my second favorite one is I hit the, uh, hit the joystick by pressing the button in again. And I'm able to adjust uh, the yaw and the tilt. And uh, it's very sensitive. If you just apply a little bit of a pressure, it will slowly uh, tilt the camera. Or I could actually, t that's as fast as it will go. But if I actually apply as little bit, you can see how sensitive it is. Very, very nice. I've actually been incredibly happy with this setup now that I've figured out how to use it properly. The one mistake I made that I, uh, that I want to tell you is uh, that I had a monopod on the base of this, and that was what was throwing the gimbal off when I did a downtown walk of Fort Myers. Hey, I've said from day one, like I said, that I'm not a video guy, so I had to have a, a gimbal expert to tell me in my video what I was doing wrong. Six hours on two batteries, and then you get a second set, so, I mean, hell's bells. And they charge really fast, too. Um, this unit is uh, 599 it could almost stand here by itself, although I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, it's been worth every penny of what I paid for it. Like I said, it will also hold, which was important to me, is that obviously I need some sort of uh, audio recording capability. I would normally do this while the gimbal is off, of course, but this will actually hold... Uh, my Rode Micro, I'm not going to plug it in right this second. Well, screw it, why not? Why don't I just plug it in? I'm not going to turn the camera on. There we go. I'm only limited a little bit. Let me push this out of the way. This is actually how I had it set before. This does not really, it only limits me about 15%. I love, I got a lot of really expensive microphones. If you look at some of my earlier videos, homie knows them some shotgun microphones. Um... I'm not a videographer. Obviously, I'm not. I've um, been very, very impressed with how well this is made. And uh, I got two recommendations off of people that I trust. Another one is a, a great YouTuber that I know is an awesome dude. I said, you know, I saw you had a video that you owned uh, the crane. He's like, I absolutely love it. Uh, he didn't say the tits. That's kind of like my saying. It's like, say something's uh, silk, sex, and sugar. This is perfect. Um, I made the mistake and people were pointing like, your video is shaky. It's like, yeah, I, I didn't know that the monopod was the issue. And I also didn't have my camera perfectly centered. But now that I've shown you the technique on how to properly center your camera, 
you know, obviously you're going to change lenses, you're going to have to move the camera back, and you're going to have to readjust uh, uh, the eye beam basically along the tilt, and uh, then also the roll again, and then again the yaw. So every time you change cameras or you change a lens on the same camera, that's going to change obviously the center of gravity. So you're going to have to rebalance. Even though it's a gimbal and it's a stabilizer, it's not a balancer. Because I've been asked that question. It's like, why do you have to uh, balance the camera? Well, it's not a balancer. It's a stabilizer. <laughs> um, I did a bunch of uh, research on uh, various uh, gimbals and uh, what people recommended. And uh, this... This is it. And uh, I am very happy with it. And I don't... I, out of 3,000 videos, I almost never say that. Uh, very, very happy. Um, especially once I got it down. Because when I made the first walk down video through downtown Fort Myers with this, uh, the Zhiyun Crane, I uh, did not have, A, it properly balanced. And I'd only had like two hours on the unit. I was just so eager to test it out because I've always wanted a stabilizer. And secondly, I had a big-ass monopod on the bottom of it. And that is what was throwing off the stabilizer. I did not know that. I would wanted to use that so it could stick it underneath my arm to make it a little bit more comfortable to hold. Like I said, the CNC machining on this is incredible. It comes with two sets of batteries. And you stick a longer lens on there. This is the little Y bracket that actually fits underneath the front. Uh, for supporting a lens, and I've already uh, stabilized, uh, balanced this out, excuse me, priorly, previously with the uh, 16 to 55 f2.8 Fuji, which I had to bring the camera back and I actually had to stabilize the lens, but that was no big deal. But anytime you change cameras or you change uh, lenses, you're going to have to go uh, through the balancing sequence again. But the point is, is that if you're going to be doing video work with the stabilizer, you're going to have basically one setup that you're going to use. Preferably, instead of this lens, most people are probably going to choose, like if it was the Fuji, the 16-55 2.8 or the 18-55, whatever you want. The 16-55 is a lot newer Fujifilm lens, for example, and it is very, very quiet. Fujifilm specifically designed that so there would not be any video noise. This microphone for 59 bucks is the Tits. I actually recommend this to anybody that owns a damn Fuji to buy this damn microphone. I really, really do, and I don't say that lightly. Made out of metal and made in Australia. Oi to the Australians! Um, the only thing that I found lacking on this was uh, my slight confusion on reading the instructions. It's not like it was in, uh, you know... Uh, uh, you know, bad instructions. Their instructions are very simple. I mean, this thing, you know, an, I, an iPhone only has one button, but it's obviously infinitely complicated. Some people say, well, how come it took you so long to figure out this damn stabilizer? It's only got an on-off button and a joystick. Well, it's a joystick with a push-in button, and also you actually have to balance the camera for the stabilizer to work correctly. Like I said, if you don't have it properly balanced after five to ten minutes of use, you would notice that the motors here along the uh, roll... Uh, excuse me, the, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, right, the tilt, excuse me, brain fart, the tilt, uh, the roll and the yaw axis would be warm or after a great deal of time, if they're too far out of balance, that would be hot. Um, that's not the case. So thanks, and, uh, I think the product is wonderful. I got a link below if you're interested in snagging one. I'm uh, very happy with the purchase. I think it was a great deal. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is Zhiyun Tech Crane. I finally mastered it. Even though I'm not a videographer, I've mastered the crane. And uh, now I can actually do start doing some of the stuff that I want to do. Okay? Bye. Ooh. Oh, knocked the case over. <laughs>